So at least five counties are going back to school today. Fayette County is one of them. And Christy Etheridge joins me now. Christy, there's one big change happening to the safety protocol going on this year. This is huge. Yeah, this is huge. They're actually putting a gun in school. I know the wow. idea is to kind of keep it out. But after mm -hmm. the rash of school shootings earlier this year, the school board voted to put a long rifle in every middle and high school in the county. I got a preview of where it will be. Take a look. Somebody's shooting up the school at Stoneman Many more students are going to have to die and have their blood spilt in American classrooms. Hands up in raw fear. I love you. It's going to be fine. Can you hide somewhere? Can you play dead? Saying words to parents they thought might be their last. Because I really thought I was not getting out of this alive because I thought he was coming through me. This is the new reality of going to school. After 17 students were murdered in a mass shooting in Parkland, Florida. One of at least 20 school shootings so far this year. Metro Atlanta refuses to be owned by that fear. So Fayette County is taking action. We are going to have a long rifle. The rifle will be in a safe in an office like this. The safe will be installed right here. Just shy of five feet tall, this gun safe will be installed in the SRO's office of every middle and high school in Fayette County. It's just another layer of protection. Fayette County spokesman Melinda Berry Dreisbach says the gun has always been on school property, but before it was locked in the trunk of the officer's car, an inconvenient location if there's ever a shooter inside the building. Then that's wasting some precious time. The safe will be hooked up to an alarm and a camera system and sit behind a locked office door. Not even the principal will have the code to get in. And so if anyone tries to get in there, we're going to know about it. Plus, the hallways in this school are long, and Melinda says the pistol on the officer's belt may not reach a potential shooter at the other end. Our resource officers need to be equipped with the appropriate instruments to be able to protect the students and the staff. Now, each safe and security system is costing about $2,000 per school. Law enforcement agencies are paying for the guns. They will finish getting installed all this week. So were you able to speak to any parents about how they feel? Well, I know that they had some meetings with the school system, uh -huh. and the parents were one of the ones who encouraged this to happen. They meet mm -hmm. with their law enforcement, they meet with parents often, yeah. and they were so concerned about their students' safety that they also, the, the law enforcement deputies, mm -hmm. they wanted to be able to meet a school shooter with at least their level of force or greater. All and right. the parents are okay with that. Well, some interesting developments happening at our local schools for sure, considering uh, the recent school shootings we've seen over the last few years. Chrissy Etheridge. Changing our perspective. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much.